Hi, Mansa. Hi. How are you? Hi, Samina. I am good. It feels great to be sitting here talking to you in the middle of the madness. <laughs> so, of course, there's a lot of madness. I must say that, and you know, you look quite pumped up about it. So, tell me, like, how excited are you to go for the Miss World, and of course, like, you know, make us all proud with it. I am beyond thrilled. It's it's been a long mm-hmm. journey, February to now. To think that all mm-hmm. those months have finally led up to this moment is is just so beautiful. It's insane, and things are happening. Things are finally getting real, and I feel blessed and grateful to take the next step. Thank so, Mansa, you. you have been a part of this journey since a very long time. I must say that, like you know. it's not only the pageant but you have also been a part of a lot of social media you know social activities so can you elaborate on that and tell us something about it absolutely i think the the very driving force behind me becoming a miss india has been purpose and to be here i think the best part about the platform has been the kind of reach that my title has had mm. and in fact before miss india i used to volunteer at a local ngo in my neighborhood called make a difference and so every sunday yeah. i would go down to the shelter home and teach a bunch of students math and english but to go from wow. that to to now where i can in fact be a, a vocal ambassador for so many important causes is is just such a huge honor and so mm-hmm. my efforts as a miss india have in fact been dedicated to lending my voice along with that the second pillar of my project is centered around child response vehicles that okay. behind this helpline we have rescue workers who are in fact working dedicated to the cause and typically a rescue worker embarks on his rescue mission by public transport and this is a huge challenge because one time when we talk about cases of children in distress time is of the essence cases such as child marriage child labor children who are being abandoned every second counts and so we want to ensure that we have a dedicated vehicle which can reach the site on time one that can even access mm-hmm. rural remote areas and one that will make children feel comfortable after being rescued and mm-hmm. in fact you know, I don't have to tell you that i had a keto campaign running for a child response vehicle and we just hit the target today oh and wow that's so nice that's so big good and sure you. you must be quite proud yes, of it thank because, you. you know you're actually helping a lot of people through it so you know that's quite a good thing thank you so much and thank you to everybody who supported means the world that you contributed every little contribution makes a huge difference and i feel so grateful so. for all the support mansa you're also a part of this chat show women on mission could you tell us something about it what exactly are you doing over there and you know what you're interacting with a lot of people over there the miss world the miss india's and on so can you tell us something about it what exactly the chat show is all about well women on a mission is a show that we started with with one intention in mind and that is to just create dialogue around the kind of amazing things that women are doing and mm-hmm. since i'm here in this space i i was super thrilled to talk to diana hayden our former miss world because i followed her journey it's it's such a beautiful one and the chance to in fact speak to her and learn mm. from her and and draw from her experiences was a huge dream come true mm. um but but the idea is to keep continuing to talk to women to create more dialogue about the kind of work that we are doing and the kind of work that everybody should be doing right the power of the collective mm. is that it's only when we come together that we can achieve some extraordinary things and so the mm. intention is to inspire more people and to talk more talk to more people to to create and drive some positive change and don't you personally feel that there is a lot of improvement in terms of how women are placed currently in our society you know they are the ones who are you know taking powerful positions they are talking about a lot of things and you know they are the ones who are actually heading a family managing a lot of things you know managing their family managing their husbands managing their kids and some who are of course not married the singles one or also like you know managing their work plus like in you know, a family life don't you see that you know that development all together right now in the women today in india absolutely i think uh, there is a lot of progress that we see women have come a long way 
and and to see women taking up more roles of leadership in society is is great whether it's in the field of politics economics engineering uh it's it's beautiful to see women flourishing but mm. we still have a long way to go and That's and so i think definitely. it would be it would be unfair to to say that the job is done but yes mm. we are on the right track and we will get there <laughs> also uh, mansa you have been a part of designer shows and you know you have been like you know witnessing a lot of that can you tell us something about it designer shows yes the another amazing part yeah, about this ramp and you have been like completely all over there and you know jewel worthy uh, you know ramp walk performances i must say that so how has that experience for you it's been a phenomenal experience because the world of fashion has really opened up i've started looking at fashion from a very different perspective before miss india mm. my wardrobe had turtlenecks turtlenecks were all i had in my wardrobe and okay. and to go from there <laughs> and to go from there to now being able to to really understand the different dimensions of fashion to get to interact with all these stylists makeup artists fashion directors it's is just so enlightening to see to see how much there is to really experiment mm. and explore of course walking mm. was a lot of fun i it, it was in fact my first time walking on stage during the bombay times fashion week wow and i i love fashion there's just so much creativity and i really want to push the boundaries and further experiment more mansa but do you really prefer to follow a diet because you know i told you in the bombay times fashion week also that you know listen you are blessed and touch wood you are blessed actually you are blessed with a very you know fit figure i must say that but do you like you know prefer following a diet for you know maintaining this figure yes uh you rightly said for so some people reason people know course. that you know it's not it's not like you know detox or it's not like you know going on keto you know keto diet or like that you know could you like you know tell something to the fans out there you know who actually go and like you know ruin their bodies by following something like you know just not having food or like you know crash diet and also can you like elaborate on this sure um i'm i'm going to speak about myself first i'm grateful to my amamma's genes because for some reason the forces of fat are against me <laughs> <laughs> but um if i had to talk about my diet my diet is pretty flexible right now it has everything mm. right from fresh fruits and veggies to tasty paneer and pav bhaji mm, wow that was <laughs> no kidding and i was just excited and happy that my nutritionist when she gave me my diet chart it had pav bhaji it had uh, some really nice quinoa fried rice and so that way i haven't had too many restrictions on mm. my diet but but if i had to give give advice to others i think all i can say is that with with health right we we've, we've come to a point mm. in time where health is of utmost importance and we cannot sure. compromise at all when it comes to the way we we move and the way we talk mm. and yeah. my only suggestion is to study to be more aware about the kind of calories that you're taking in the carbs the vitamins you want mm. to ensure that all your levels are in check and and so balance is key and only you can be the best judge so always calculate and balance that's definitely like quite a good point and i'm sure a lot of people should be following that because i think it's quite important to have a healthy brain and to have a healthy brain it's important to have a healthy diet that's like you know very important for a lot of people because right now i feel you know people are too busy like you know focusing on their chaotic schedules they forget to focus on themselves what what are your thoughts on that too. <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't worry once once you're back winning the crown i'm sure you'll have a very gala time you'll have a good time you'll be off that stress i'm sure masa yes, you have I also heard. been you have also been a part of this head to head challenge so what exactly that challenge was and what how did you win and you know did you win and what exactly was the challenge all about i'm sorry i lost you in between i'm Could saying you that you were a part of you were a part of head to head challenge so tell us something about that like how exciting was that for you okay the head to head challenge is in fact a challenge that happens at miss world 
and so that is yet to happen but i am oh, in the process okay. of preparation yes mm -hmm. it is one of the important segments at miss world but i am okay. very so what exactly to do? well uh, the so if you could elaborate for your fans hmm. sure. what well, exactly the format the typically is about? for sure Sorry. <laughs> no. okay typically the format keeps changing but last year i believe the girls had a chance to talk about their beauty with a purpose projects and so mm -hmm. i think it's an amazing opportunity to really sit with girls mm -hmm. from different countries and talk about causes and issues that we hold very close to our heart mm -hmm. and i am looking forward to my head to head challenge and and that's i think going to be the most exciting part about miss world mm -hmm. just speaking to all these dynamic young women from across the world exchanging ideas and bouncing off all this energy i'm sure and also mansa since you are saying that you are quite excited so also tell us when exactly is the grand finale taking place for which you are actually heading and prepping up so much the grand finale is happening on the 16th of december that is the date Yes, and and I hope that everybody tunes in and showers India loads and loads of love and support because we need all of it. I'm, I'm sure, and you will definitely like win over and you know win over the hearts of people out there because you have that caliber. I must say that you know, and I really appreciate you for that. But Mansa, also, how nervous are you personally? Because you know, it's not that easy to be a part of you know of. such a pageant which is internationally covered by so many platforms and you know there's there are a lot of people who you know come for this participate a lot of women you know come and you know start their journey over there so how nervous are you personally i do feel a little bit of nervousness but i think that little bit is good because mm -hmm. pressure is always good when you're the one in command and so my aim is to really soak in all the nervousness and channelize that into into a place of of performance hmm. and to just be myself and and have fun throughout the journey because that's that's what really matters at the end of the day right living in that moment as as it comes and i'm sure you cannot reveal much but will we see mansa donning the indian avatar when she goes for the miss world pageant absolutely yes absolutely freaking lutely <laughs> when when i am representing india at miss world i mm. am going to be in fact i just had a few fittings the other day they're still going on a lot of fittings and outfit trials happening and mm. my favorite part is always the saree and the lehenga mm. and mm. and i'm excited to see which one will be finalized because the saree is the best representation of our culture and i'm going to try and wear it as much as possible when i'm at miss world Stylists, wow. I hope you're listening. So, talking about your parents, like how nervous are they, and how excited also they are because to see you on a uh, on such a international platform. What do they have to say on that? My mom, I I know my parents are more nervous than I am, <laughs> for sure. And I think it's just funny because before my my competition, before I applied to Miss India, my parents were not a big fan of of me participating, and so I faced a lot of resistance at home. it took a while for them to come to terms with the fact that our daughter will be representing the country and and that we have to, it's it's a it's a completely different life right to go from the private life to to this whole new public life it it's still taking time for them to come to terms with it and so they are embracing this new slice of life hmm. but as of now yeah. of course i i think they're my biggest secret cheerleaders and and i feel them in my thoughts and and in my body every day in every session and i'm looking forward to meeting them before i i fly and leave for puerto what, rico what plans do you have after winning the crown what cardio do you want to focus on if you win the crown that's a great question i have a lot of um, ideas swimming in my head but one thing i can tell you for sure is that i want to continue working in socially relevant media and entertainment because over the course of my journey the past few months i've really learned to value the importance of sound the importance of my voice and and i cannot disclose too much 
and I don't want to create a very rigid fixed path because I think in the process of creating that rigid concrete plan, you might ignore all the other wonderful opportunities that come along the way. And so what I can tell you now for sure is that sound, voice, media and communication is, is my jam. Thank you so much, Mansa, for your lovely time and all the very best. And I'm pretty sure you're going to win the title. And I'm I'm having high hopes from you. And once you're here, you're going to party. <laughs> and thank you so much for your time. I must say that, like, you look gorgeous. And definitely, you're going to win the title. Thank you so much for your time and all the very best. Thank you so much, Samina. I had a wonderful time talking to you. I haven't really done an Instagram live in the longest time. And to be able to do this with you today was so much fun. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. God bless. And see you soon on the other side after winning the trophy, after winning the crown. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for, for all and the A lot of support. fans have come over here and they are wishing you, you know, good luck. They are wishing you all the best. They really want you to like win the crown and they really want you to like, you know, come soon and, you know, win, winning the crown. They all are excited. I must say that, you know, a lot of positive comments were there where they are wishing you all the best. We, we love you. Please win the crown. Please come soon. And they're praising you a lot. So I'm sure you're going to wear the crown very soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Please keep the love coming. I draw a lot of energy from your words. And all I can say is that your support so far means the world. And, and just please keep, keep it coming. <laughs> keep it coming for India. And oh, I also want to uh, end on another note, which is Mobstar. Mobstar is an app which is a part of another challenge at Miss World, which is the Multimedia Challenge. And the idea is to have as many people as possible download this app, head over to my profile and like, comment and share every post that there is. Your support with this multimedia challenge will mean the world. So if you're listening and, and you're free, then I highly recommend you download that app and vote for India. <laughs> I'm going to vote for you and downloading this app right up after this chat. Thank you so much, Mansa. And I'm sure, like me, a lot of people over here are going to do that. Thank you so much for your time and all the very best. Thank you so much. Lots of love, light and warmth to you.